Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 15, and today, verse 28, just one verse. Let's look at the reaction of the older brother. The son has gone out. He's wasted his, his livelihood, and he comes back. He's received with great rejoicing in the home. And we come to the, the older brother's reaction, and here it is. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore, his father came out and pleaded with him. So here's the reaction of the older brother and the reaction of the father to the reaction of the older brother. So first of all, he's angry and he won't go in. This younger son, remember when they divided the inheritance to everybody, he, the older brother got his too, didn't he? But he stayed home with dad. Anyway, it was very humiliating for the younger son to demand his inheritance. That was just like telling the dad, hey, I wish you were dead and you just I had inherited all your stuff. Very gross. But uh, the older brother is not very forgiving. He is, you know, immediately right on this. He's angry. He's angry. The younger brother's come to himself. He's returned. He's sort of not even worthy, and, and he's been received with great compassion. But the older brother doesn't have too much compassion going on right here. He is angry. He, he, he's, and we're going to hear more about that tomorrow morning. Let's look at the father, though, because I think, again, a lot of the things in this parable tell us more about the father than anything else. So it says, when this is the, was the reaction, his father comes out and pleads with him. So the father received the younger brother, ran to him, in fact, and received him. But now here's this estrangement between the two brothers, and the father must have known about this. Uh, but now that the father, he gives him an opportunity to come in. God, the, God our father, always gives us opportunity to, to be like he is. But, uh, but this isn't happening. The older brother is filled with rage and anger out there. So the father goes out, and he goes out to plead with him. So again, the father's taking the initiative. And all the time, God the father, God our father, he's taking initiative. You were lost, but because he took the initiative, you, could, you were found. God is that way. He's coming for us. He wants to help us. He's not coming to wipe us out. He's coming to bring us in. So the, the father goes out, and he's going to plead with that, that older brother. And there we learn more about the character of God. He wants us. He's for us. He, he wants you. He wants you to be in the kingdom. And a lot of times our compassion, we have a compassion deficit. And this older brother has a compassion deficit. Yes, the younger brother was ridiculous. We admit that. Everybody admits that. The younger brother admits that. But now that, that we've come to this uh, space, which is good, he was dead, now he's alive, it is a time to rejoice. But the older brother, he's not ready to go there yet. So the father comes to him. There we learn about God our Father in heaven through this parable, this picture. Oh, how much he comes and pleads with you. He won't force you, but he wants us to rejoice in the good things. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this picture that Jesus gives us. We want, uh, we want this to be true for us, Lord. We want you to help us repair our compassion deficit. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us to be more like the Father and so that we would plead on the behalf of the kingdom for mercy and compassion on all people who've truly repented. And those that haven't truly repented, Lord, we ask you'll help them to repent and come to themselves. Now, Lord, bless us as we carry on day by day and help us not be like the picture here of the older brother who hasn't got this sorted out. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friends, the Lord be with you and watch over you and give you his blessings. We don't deserve them, but he wants you to have them.